Hi, my name's Eddie, Chef Eddie to be exact. Um, I've been a chef for over 30 years. During the summers, I cook a lot for a lot of people, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And during the winter, I kind of take it easy, kind of do one-pot meals. And I notice in my travels that a lot of busy people out there, singles and couples, and I thought this might help. So here's some tricks. Some shortcuts to make delicious meals and with a crock pot. And so here I've got these uh, short ribs here. I've marinated them in this dill seasoning and a little bit of um, this uh, garlic and pepper seasoning. And then we're going to toss them in the crock pot. At this point, um, if you wanted to, and if you had the time, I would grill these a little bit, just to get the flavor on there. But you don't have to do that. Like I say, this is for people who don't have a lot of time, and who are, um, you know, who need fast stuff to do. So, you can see we have um, some garlic over there. Have a little, I like it a little spicy, so we got some cayenne pepper. We have... Um, allspice, have some cabbage, coarse cut cabbage, onions, and um, about a thumb size of uh, fresh ginger there. Now the shortcut is, instead of soaking beans, I use this organic, in fact I use all organic whenever possible, but I've got a spicy black bean kale by Pacific, and then Campbell's French onion. Also, allspice is great with this. Um, I would also sometimes use golden mushroom, a can of golden mushroom soup. It uh, really um, kind of makes its own gravy and all in there. It's really great. So we're just going to add this to the crock pot now. We've got the crock pot on high. And I'm going to just add everything on in here. Now, you could come in here and add uh, the vegetables an hour or so later. But I really coarse chop things. This is for, um, there again, this is just for people who are not in a hurry or who don't have time. So we're gonna add those carrots in there. We're gonna add the cabbage. We're gonna add the onions. Just put it all in there. And now let's see, I've got some garlic here, some chopped garlic. And we're going to add about, I really like it garlicky. I like things spicy. I like garlic as a natural antibiotic. It's um, really good for you. So I'm going to add just a whole spoonful of garlic in there. I've got this salsa, this garlic and pepper seasoning. I've already, um, done the uh, the short ribs and it when I did the marinade but I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Let's see you got the, there we go. Um now I like to say I like it spicy. There's a little cayenne just a touch with some real flavor. And now allspice. Allspice is really good. You'll see me use that a good bit on on this series of uh, recipes I'm doing, but it doesn't take much. You know, probably not even a quarter of a teaspoon. Maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. So then we add our French onion soup. And while I've got me a South Carolina cut board, I'm from South Carolina. Love the South and all the good food. I'm out here in Colorado. And so there again, these crock pot meals during the winter time are great. You know, and the way it is, I'm here with my two cats. So this will make a meal for me tomorrow. I'll have a couple of bowls of soup and my dinner tonight too. So we're going to just pour all that right in there, just like that. I had to buy me a bigger, uh, smaller, I had to buy a smaller crock pot because um, 
I tend to fill them up like this, no matter how big they are, and it's just me, I was throwing away. So now we're going to do about a half a, about a half a container, maybe not quite half, let's see. Usually I do it right up to where I can just barely see it there. I can see just that. So that's about a quarter of a container of water. And now, it's already, it already looks good. You see that, right? Um, where's our lid? We'll put the lid on that. And we'll check back on it in just a little while. Y'all enjoy. So here we are, about six hours later. It's looking good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. We're going to get some out. We've got some nice soup for lunch tomorrow. And for tonight, we've got this yummy mix of vegetables. You could add potatoes, which I normally usually, which I do a lot of times add potatoes or you could even use rice but um, I'm trying to cut back and lose a little weight so here we have I think this would qualify as paleo I don't know uh, it qualifies as good I know that so I'm gonna go have me a nice glass of wine and enjoy this so I hope y'all enjoyed it one man in a crock pot like, follow, and share, and travel videos also coming up. See ya!